everybody, this is Dev Biker here, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, how to migrate your Corsair Link fan curves over into Corsair IQ. So if you've uh, installed IQ moving over from Link, um, you'll notice that it didn't bring over any of your settings uh, from Corsair Link. In fact, you're starting with a fresh, clean, brand new slate. Um, and that's... The, that's fine, um, but sometimes, you know, certainly folks like me, I've spent a lot of time working on my fan curves for my Commander Pro and for my H115i Pro, really getting them just right. And for me, it was like, oh man, I've got to rebuild these things and tweak them and tune them and all that kind of stuff because, you know, of course you go into Link once you've installed IQ and it's like, boom, hey, this device is being controlled by IQ. And that's wonderful. That's great. That's actually what I want Link to do. But it would really be nice to at least see what my fan curves were so I could copy them over. So what's a coder to do? Right? Uh, of course. Write some code. So I'm sharing that code with y'all uh, so that you can do the same thing that I did. Now, uh, right now, the the tool will open up a link profile and it will show you the fan curves that are stored in that link profile. Um, my longer term goal, what, what I hope to do with this is actually not just open up a link profile and show you the fan curves, but allow you to go in and select the fan curves and then export them into a file that you could then import into IQ or share with other IQ users or whatever you want to do. Um, I want to use the profile sharing functionality of IQ to go ahead and, and share those. So I'm working on that. Um, if I, I, I hope to get it done, and if I do, I will certainly update the tool uh, so that it's a bit more of a seamless procedure. Um, but right now, we have a tool that goes and it reads our fan curves out of link, out of our profile and link, and lets us recreate the, those fan curves in IQ, um, which I think is a, pretty good start. So when you download the file, um, and the link will be below, the link will also be on the Corsair form. When you download the file, uh, Windows is going to block it because you're downloading this crazy file from the internet, right? So it says this file came from another computer. It might be blocked to help protect this computer. Um, you don't have to do this, but you probably want to go ahead and unblock it and say apply. Uh, otherwise, when you run the application, Windows is going to pop up and say, danger, danger, Will Robinson. Uh, don't worry, it's not malware. Uh, all this does is reads a file and shows you what's in the file. So um, if you have any questions on it, feel free to ask me. But trust me, there's nothing bad here. Uh, now that we've unblocked it, let's go ahead and extract this. And we're going to extract it into the desktop. And here it is. So you'll see once we extract it, we have one executable application. That's devbiker.link.fancurves.exe. The rest of the files, the application does need to run. Um, and they need to be there, but you're not going to be able to do anything with them. So we'll go ahead and double click on the application. And it's going to load the application. And the first time it loads, it's going to go out and it's going to look in that folder where Link, uh, by default, saves all of your profiles with all of your fan curves. And it's going to go ahead and load them up. So it's gone ahead and done that. So And by the way, even if you've uninstalled Link, if you didn't tell Link to delete your profiles, they're still going to be there. Uh, so even if you've uninstalled Link, give this a shot, see if it's there, and you'll be able to bring those fan curves over. So if we take a look, we see I've got a couple of profiles in here. Um, the default one that I was using when I installed uh, IQ was default slash rainbows. And then I can go in and select which device. Now you'll see that there's five Commander Pros in here. And... I'm not exactly sure why that is, why there's five different Commander Pros showing up in here, but it is. One of those is the actual one. I did not have five Commander Pros installed in my system at any one time. In fact, I don't have five Commander Pros 
Um, I have three of them in two different systems and only one in this system here. If you highlight over them, you'll see that there is a, it's called a serial number. Uh, this is what Link, both Link and IQ use to uniquely identify the device. I don't know why this same Commander Pro got multiple different serial numbers, but as you click on it, you will actually, it will show what the different fan curves are for the device. And you can select which Commander Pro has the fan curves that you want to copy over. I don't select it for you. You go ahead and pick out the one that you want. And it looks like uh, this one looks actually kind of right. So here we go. We've got fan one, fan two, three, four, five, and six. Um, if you look to, here's the H115. I have my different fan curves for the for even my H100. Uh, so Link remembered my H100, even though that's been uninstalled for a couple of months now. I uh, got the H115 really like as soon as it came out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start with uh, this fan curve here for this first Commander Pro with serial number B05986CF. And... I'm going to take fan curve one and I'm just going to migrate that over to IQ. So let's fire up IQ. Here is my performance section. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new fan curve by clicking on the plus sign. This creates a new fan curve and I'm going to give this fan curve a name. I'm going to call this link fan one. The next thing I'm going to do is set which sensor it's associated with. Now, I'm not importing that or showing that to you yet. Um, I am working on figuring out exactly how to show you um, the uh, sensor that the fan curve is associated with. I don't have that quite right yet. Um, as I get it right, I will update this tool, um, and I will update the link for the download, so you'll be able to get uh, updated tools as I figure additional stuff out. No worries there, um, but right now, uh, this is what we got. So I will go in and just uh, one fan curve point at a time, copy the fan curve from link over into IQ, right? So my first temperature is 20 degrees and my point RPM is 620. And then my next one is 32 degrees and my Point R, my RPM value is 620. My next point is 34 degrees. And the RPM value is 850. And then 37 degrees. And the RPM here is 1100. And then 39 degrees. And I messed that up, so I need to go back in. Uh, you need to be careful. Uh, you'll notice when I did that, I typed in the wrong temperature, and it moved everything over, and it moved all those points over. You need to be careful when you're typing temperatures in, because it will do that. Revert will take it back to where it was when I started. Um, so I'm just going to move that one over and then go and tweak those temperatures in just a minute. So set my point RPM to 1250. And then 42. And 1400. So we know this one should be 37. There we go. And then this one is 34. And then this one is 32. And there we go. I'm done. I've actually brought my fan curve over. Uh, this is a fan curve actually for an LL fan, which has a max speed of around 1400. So that's why it only goes up to... Uh, 1400 RPM at uh, 42 degrees Celsius. Uh, this is tied to an internal case temperature. I have that particular temperature sensor really kind of sitting 
just over my pump head. So it's like the midpoint of my case. Um, it heats up when my GPU heats up. Uh, so it, get, it, it it's actually somewhat loosely based on the GPU temperature um, and gives me a good idea of how the air is flowing and what the, uh, the, the temperature is around components like my memory and the VRMs and that kind of stuff. So I do like to keep that one cool. I do like to uh, keep my case fans focused on keeping that area cool. Um, so that's why I do that. I go ahead and apply it to, um, let's do it to, let's say these um, front LL, that's uh, those two front LL fans, right? And I go ahead and apply that fan curve uh, to those fans and boom, it starts taking effect. So that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, um, when you, like I said, when you first load up the tool, it looks in the folder where Link is installed. If you have another machine or if you saved your profiles off to another folder, or if they're not where they should be or anything like that, you also have the capability to load a profile from a specific folder. <clears throat> so we have this load profiles button. And when I click on the load profiles button, it will actually give me a dialog where you locate ceiling for app dot config. Uh, that is the link configuration file. And what you're going to want to do is make sure that ceiling for app dot config and all of your profile files, which are going to be a bunch of letters and numbers uh, with a dot config um, file extension, are all in the same folder. So there's my ceiling four. I'm saying I want to load this from my flash disk J and open it up. And now you'll see we have this color dance profile. You'll notice I have an RM650i, uh, Commander Pro, an H100i v2, right? and an H80i v2. Another custom profile. All right, so we've got different profiles, different devices. Uh, that I can see what all the fan curves were. Um, when you look at the profiles for the coolers, uh, the profiles for the coolers, just like in Link and IQ, are going to be in percentages, um, whereas the profiles for the Commander Pro are going to show fan RPMs. Uh, that's what's actually in the profile itself. There's really nothing that I can do about that, and that's also, amazingly, exactly how you configure the tool. Uh, so you have the ability to read the default location. If you happen to save them off anyplace else, you can open up from uh, that alternate location. And this will show you what all of your fan curves are uh, for all of your profiles um, and allow you to migrate those fan curves over to IQ. <clears throat> um, so that way you can move on uh, using your custom fan curves in, in IQ. Um, and enjoy all of the, uh, the rich uh, RGB functionality that we have with IQ. So with that, that's all we have uh, for today. Um, as there's updates to this tool, like I said, I, I hope to uh, get it so that we can export a profile that you can then import directly into IQ. Um, I will update it as that happens. Uh, so I'm hoping I'll be able to do that in the next couple of weeks. We'll see. Um, but until then, uh, thanks for tuning in. And if you have any questions, you can certainly ask them here on the YouTube channel or uh, go to the Corsair forum. Uh, the link to the Corsair forum post where I uh, mentioned this is, going, is also going to be in the description for the, uh, for the video. Thanks, and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye now.